Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I'm standing inside greenhouse number two today. And this, if in case you missed it, I posted a day in the life and it was basically a whirlwind day. We planted so hundreds of baskets, literally hundreds of baskets. And then my perennial plugs came in. We got to work planting those. I was expecting to do those at a later date, but my in-laws showed up and we really got a lot done. It was a really productive day. So if you missed that vlog, I'll post the link for it right up here in the corner. Click on that, watch the vlog, get caught up with all of these baskets. And and then today we are going to be starting some seeds here at the nursery things like tomatoes for hanging baskets and for patio pots and we're also going to be starting some peppers today and I do this a couple of different ways sometimes I soil block which I will do if I have a smaller amount of tomatoes to start but for the peppers I think I might be just doing a tray sowing where I just fill a flat with a little bit of soil and then sprinkle the seeds on top and that I found to be a much faster method when it comes to starting 500 or a thousand seedlings like I'm going to need for six packs and then I'm really excited because my green flower pouches came in now these are something I grew I think some geraniums and impatience in last year this year I want to expand that to include sun loving flowers like petunias now these flower pouches are something that people like to hang on their mailbox post or on a porch post or side by side next to their front door noticing them more on people's houses and on their properties you know how you see something like say you're shopping and you want to go look for a blue car and all of a sudden you see blue cars everywhere <laughs> That's kind of what it was like with these flower pouches last year. As soon as I started to make them, I started to notice them everywhere. The possibilities for them are endless. So I just got a box, I think of about a hundred. I've got to go check. So I actually have no idea how many are here, but she said it was $95 worth. So <laughs> these are the flower pouches. So let me flip it around. Okay, right here. There are 10 holes in these bags, hold on. Okay, here is Al's flower pouch and these are the 10 hole pouches. So there's five on each side. For the petunias, I'm gonna alternate every other one. For the double impatience that I'm growing, I'm gonna do it in every hole because they don't grow as big. The petunias are obviously like gonna get huge. But the back of this says, Al's flower pouch, hang suggestions against walls, balconies, deck posts, lamp posts, mailbox posts, front porch lights, besides garage doors, beside front doors, around swimming pools, fencing, and back to back for a circular display. I didn't even think about that. It's <laughs> a great idea. I bought two specific petunias to grow in these. One's I think a burgundy velour and then one's a bi-color one, like a pink white type color. And I think my mother-in-law is coming here today and uh, she's gonna help me out with this. There's so much color. I do have to get in here one day this week and just kind of go to town pinching things. All of this stuff needs to be pinched. This is Calabrocoa that needs to be chopped. Verbena needs to be chopped. More Cali. See how this is kind of growing like straight up? Like I would pinch it right here and that way it will branch out with even more blooms. But all the baskets need this done. So it's a very tedious job. And if anybody's ever wondering why a hanging basket their premium prices because a there's a lot of product that goes into building it b there's a lot of time that goes into building it and c um personally for me here there is a lot of propane this heater here in upstate new york we have to heat our houses for two months to grow these baskets and just to give you an idea last year my propane totaled about nine thousand dollars imagine how much money that is just imagine I had to pay $9,000 just to heat my houses to grow all these hanging baskets. As far as seeds go, I have this specific tomato that I'm gonna be starting today. It's called Topsy Tom, and it is a cherry tomato for hanging baskets. I'm a member of a bunch of greenhouse growing groups online, and this was highly recommended for hanging baskets. So I'm gonna start these seeds in soil blocks, and then I'm, I'm not gonna start all of them. There are a thousand seeds in this packet. This is very pricey seed. This seed was over $100 just for this packet right here. So it's very pricey. I am only gonna start a couple hundred and then save them for coming years because I'm gonna be putting three 
in each hanging basket. So I don't need a thousand of them. That would be a ridiculous number of hanging baskets. But my flower friend Gina, back when she owned a greenhouse, she also would grow these and she told me that she put in a 10 inch pot, she would put three tomato plugs. And if you do it now, then by the time Mother's Day comes around, they'll be like red and beautiful. People will be running out the door with these red tomato pots. Very exciting when you have walk into a nursery and you see tomatoes that are ready to eat on the hanging basket. So I'm gonna do those. Uh, my friend Jules the other day, I don't know if you guys saw, oh shoot, I shouldn't have shut my computer. I have a vlog uploading on my computer. This video, it's funny. I'm recording this one right now, but I'm uploading the, um, it's called basket planting spree at the greenhouses. So that's what, that's what's uploading, but I'm recording this one right now. So I'm all, we always have to think two steps ahead. And we have peppers that we did start over here already, which are Carolina Reaper pepper, Carolina Reaper. I have gum in my mouth. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take that out. Carolina Reaper <laughs> peppers. And then there's a chocolate Trinidad scorpion pepper. A couple other aha varieties that I showed you guys in seed unboxing videos. And then uh, Jules started the Peter pepper seeds. And, uh, oop, we're getting tiny hints of germination. I'm gonna give it a quick mist. I, I could have had germination already if I put these on heat mats, but um, the, the heat in the atrium was not on yet, so it would not have worked to put these on heat mats uh, in there. The heat is, however, on now, so I can move these out to the heat mats, and then germination will speed up. All right, I'm gonna get some soil blocks made and start some Topsy Tom seeds. I have one tray of Topsy Tom tomatoes started, so this is 40, and I also started a second tray, so there's 80 total, and uh, I don't know, what do you think, should I do more? 80 divided by three, I think that's enough, that's like 25, 26, it's like 26 hanging baskets if I have enough, as long as germination is good. Maybe I'll start one more tray. Okay, it's the next day, and um, well, I've got a problem. I ran out of baskets, like the actual hanging baskets. I thought I ordered enough. My calculations were off. So I have to head up to my supplier this morning and buy more baskets. It's an emergency situation. I still have hundreds, I'm strike that, thousands of little baby plants to get in baskets. And as much as I have an insane amount of baskets, I have more to plant. So I need to get there and get there right now. So let's head up there. All right, I'm leaving with an absolutely full car. I'll show you guys what I got when we get back to the shop. Dun, da, da, da. I've got, so I got these smaller pots. These are for putting together small things. I've got these larger pots. These are for the coleus mixes I wanna to put together. I got these pots. These are for small trays with like three or four plants in it uh, for people to just grab and go. And then I got more of the, um, those wire baskets. These ones that I love so much. So I got 12 of, 12 more of these to put together. Okay, I have everything in now. Um, so those are the Coco Coir with the wire baskets. I've got those small porch pots, the little bit smaller than that. And then all of my hanging baskets. And then I have these, which I think, oh, if I can just get it out. Okay. This size basket right here is absolutely perfect for my coleus combos that I want to do. And the other purchase I made are these. Now, these are for my flower bags that I was showing you guys. We didn't get a plant chance to plant them up yesterday. These go inside the pouch to make it um, watering a lot faster and a lot more efficient these green pouches. I'll show you how those work in a little bit. I've never used them before, but it's pretty simple. And this is my box of cones. Let's open this up and I'll show you. Oh my goodness. 
they're just beautiful. So I have 12 of these. These are obviously a higher price point basket. They come with a wire hanger. Um, they're just, they're gonna be gorgeous. I'm so excited. Last year, I didn't get these baskets until later in the season, like May, I think. So I didn't have a chance to actually grow in them. This year I have them early and I'm gonna put a combo in it or hmm, maybe some special plants. And then we'll have a chance to actually see this grow out this season. It's a mess, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm constantly looking a mess because I, what, I, what I found out about making YouTube videos is that if I worried about what this looked like, we weren't gonna have videos made. So you guys see me rolling out of bed. I rarely have makeup on. It's just a lot easier because I rub my eyes a lot. But it's a it's windy, oh, hot mess today. Um, it's really nasty. And it's actually starting to snow. Actually, it's coming down pretty good. We're supposed to get a storm, but it's not supposed to snow until tomorrow. So um, we might be in trouble here because it's this is supposed to be all rain today. Our snowfall totals might whoop go up because it's hard to see but oh, okay you can see a little bit it's actually it's not supposed to be snowing right now it's supposed to be all rain today okay so we're trying these new cones out that i just got and i just kind of grabbed some stuff i'm gonna do a purple sweet potato vine this gorgeous lismachia this is a like a neon chartreuse beautiful color this is the white lofus spermum uh, that's also a trailer, and then I'm gonna put a couple of petunia plugs in each one as well. If we do two, or we do some with two lofus, and then, and then some, some with two lismachia. Yeah, I whatever you wanna be, do. That way it's got symmetry. Yeah, there. this is gorgeous. It looks really pretty. Oh, I love it. guys it's yet another day this video is gonna be jumping all over the place but that's how um, things are going so I just got back from the store Brad and I just ran down to the store he's in the back working on the drip irrigation still but I just picked up a whole bunch of like window boxes to plant up they were fairly inexpensive I mean they weren't wholesale I bought them outright but I thought how cool if I could just you know plant these up because I have a ton of Calibricoa, for instance. Calibricoa. Oh my god. Oh, the red and the black. Okay, all right. I'm keeping this right here to put in here. Okay, so I got like five of these, five orange ones. So this same thing, but that color, like the, I don't even know what they call it, uh, terracotta. And then I picked up four of these, and they are actually, they come with big brackets and stuff so that you can plant them over the top of um, like a deck or something like that. Anyway, I got these to plant up. I think they're gonna be really cool, different options. And so I'm going to get the soil machine going. And I just still have, I would say I have probably 300 more baskets left to plot up. And then I have all of these. Like all the big porch pots, I have to do these. I did 90% of the smaller like flat pots but I also got more yesterday when I went to pick up my other baskets I got more smaller pots I showed you guys those so they're the 12 inch pots for like the coleus combos I gotta plant those up we still have a lot more soil to go through so I'm gonna get that machine running and then start planting I don't think I'm gonna do these right now I'm gonna get the baskets done and then focus on all of the other pots I feel like the purple fountain grass is bigger than when I planted it. I feel like the Rebecca and Echinacea is bigger than when I planted it. Oh, it's only been a week, guys, and things are taken off. Taking a pit stop here in greenhouse number three, we cleared off some more area for more baskets, um, but we ended up putting in these giant pots. We put one of the really nice combos. It's, I'll show, it's, um, it's this one, but because it's in that giant pot, we put way more plugs, and now I'm putting a canna in the middle of each. Now, the cannas are gonna be either red or orange in the middle of this 
So I think that's gonna look really nice. All right, there's the canna, and then I'm gonna water this in. Found these black baskets in the closet and putting this Shades of Summer, which is a Kala Brokoa basket, three different colors of Cali. And then we added some Silver Falls Dichondra for some, um, for some dramatic effect. But these are really nice black, I'm calling them like mummy baskets. They've just got like that striping, like bandaging, but it's really pretty. So these are different than the rest. This is all so beauteous. Now, I know that I have hangers for these. Okay, now guys, I'm back here with the 12 inch baskets that I just filled, and I'm going to be starting the Enchanted Evening baskets. I think we already did some. I was going to do some in floor pots, but I think we ran out of floor pots for these, so I'm going to go ahead and, and just fill these baskets with this variety. It includes Kela Bracoa Ultra Purple, Petunia Autumn Mystery, and a Namija, and it's like a yellow. Beautiful. It was called Banana Berry last year. It wasn't called this, but apparently it's called Nija Inca this year. They look so good. I am so excited about these premium baskets. And we also potted up the other 12 of the wire ones with the petunia. It's a, it's a blissfully bold PW container, except we added German ivies to it. So this will be exciting to watch grow. Okay guys. We are uh, gonna wrap this video up, but I've got plenty more coming. So stay tuned, we'll see you soon.